when I was going to sign with Bright Light. Alam kong wala na ako sa ATS, pero parang meron pa akong hugot na, bakit nyo ba ako pinakawalan? Pipirma na ako dito, pero bakit ba ninyo ako pinakawalan? You were asking about... Uh, oh, oh, it's a misnomer, mm -hmm. actually, because uh, although when ABS-CBN um, downsized, I was one of the ones who went freelance. Mm -hmm. no? Um, no drama. I never took it against them that they were downsizing. Uh, many of us were, were told you are now freelance, so... And um, so immediately I went on Facebook. I looked for one sponsor to pay for a skeletal staff. And I went on Facebook. During the pandemic, all my interviews were Zoom. Oh, buhay naman siya. Very soon after, Bright Light picked me up under now Mayor Albi Benitez. And with the changing landscape, at first I couldn't understand what's this about. Basa he's gonna pay for your production, ah, ganon, or whatever. Kaya <laughs> ako lumabas, o sige. Not knowing that he had uh, a deal with both A to Z and TV5 to come out simultaneously. So I, parang I practically never really left ABS because soon after, bumalik na rin ang airing ko doon. Although producer is now bright light. Ayon. So now that Bright Light naman is the one downsizing, uh, I'm always uh, and eternally grateful to Bright Light because uh, even if they sort of discontinued and downsized, wow, for like the entire pandemic, masaya kami. No? So that's what happened. Um, for like for um, three years. Okay, I always told my staff all those times. And our salary was commensurate to the salary of ABS in its heyday. Ganon ako magpa sweldo ng tao. Because to me, parang people needed it. And we were braving all the threats and the dangers of the pandemic. At that time, wala. we didn't even know what it was. And we didn't even know na magkakabaksine. Sinusuong namin ng mga barangay, wala kaming mask. I have never been infected. Really up to this day? Yes. Wow. And I'm everywhere. As in everywhere. Barangays in Cebu, ground zero at that time. One of the most infected provinces, Cebu. We were in Cebu. Tapos darating lahat ng barangay sa Salva, si Corina, wala silang mask lahat. Sabi ko, bahala na si Batman. Pwede mong pa-share yung arrangement? Yes. Um... <coughs> Uh, first of all, I always mean I don't believe in burning bridges, diba? Parang, and true enough now, the lines have no more delineations, diba? Ngayon, yung mortal mo dati, BFF mo ngayon. Such is life. And the most unheard of, most improbable scenarios have happened. Like the closure of ABS-CBN. And now, the merging of ABS-CBN and GMA. Or that shows in ABS are also simultaneously seen in TV5. Mm -hmm. So, ganun na ngayon. So, that is also the personality I want to adapt to. So, that's why uh, when I was going to sign, medyo mahabang kwento, pero interesting kasi, when I was, the Facebook ako, di ba? When I was going to sign with Bright Light, alam kong wala na ako sa ABS. Pero parang meron pa akong hugot na, um, meron pa akong hugot na, bakit nyo ba ako pinakawalan? Pipirma na ako dito, pero bakit ba ninyo ako pinakawalan? Rated K was one of the most viable, was one of the cheapest to produce, was award-winning, and is the best promo platform for all your artistas. and all, You know, I mean, why? It doesn't almost make sense. And, Nung magpapaalam na ako, sabi ko kay Girlie Rodis, Girlie, magpaalam ka ng mabuti kasi pipirma na tayo. Alam kong 
wala na tayo sa kanila pero yan ang, yan ang original kong pamilya at mga magulang magpaalam ka lang ng maganda na ito na magsasign na po kami sa five and suddenly they said can Corina please not sign and it was just in the flurry of things that matters were lost in translation and we just didn't realize what became of Corina at that time no uh, well that so that's what they said and I said it's a little too late for that because we already negotiated I already promised we have a time slot we're signing tomorrow and it was Carlo Katigbak who said who gave me the most important advice of all and at that time I was going to be going into a situation that I'd never been in before kasi dati empleyado na lang naman ako eh empleyado lang naman ako na yun and coming in as a producer right um, and he said please tell Corina please tell Corina to own her show make sure to that before you sign so that's what I did that's what I did quickly we changed the the personality of the program and then had it uh, patented and and Albi was so generous and okay na, okay. So because of that, uh, the next three years became one of my most lucrative. And we were visible in niche markets, even quite smaller, because gone are the days of 40% ratings. Mataas na ngayon ang Hallelujah pag 20. Di ba? Dati, 40. Mayroon pang 50. So, with the niche markets and with a really good sales team, we flourished. And with the changing landscape, and because now creativity is not monopolized, it's uh, uh, free for all. So, even all my creative ideas from before that I wanted to, that I wanted to do, we were able to do. So, kaya merong TikToks, merong uh, Korean interviews. Uh, so, that's why I have three programs all at the same time. Because I started doing pitches and decks. And then, a lot of people had no work. So, I go, okay to. Uh, okay to, kasi it will give. It will give. Saan ang CR nila? Sorry, excuse me. Ang <laughs> galyon, <laughs> uh, So, yun, parang... Um, it became a venue for me to pitch. And nagi green light yung mga pitch. So why will I not? So yon. So na green light. Sabi ko, ang dami mabibigyan ng ano? Trabaho? Biro mo three sets of staff. Cameramen, EPs, APs, PAs, writers. And eh, madali lang naman. My training in ABS-CBN is priceless. Because in ABS-CBN, bihira lang din yung on-cam ka, pero ikaw din ang nag-iilaw, ikaw din ang umuupo sa editing, ikaw din ang nagpipintura ng sarili mong set. Ako yon. E ako din ang EP. So ako din ang numero. So my training, oh nakakaloka, no? all around. Kamang nag-ganyan ako, nagdidirect ako dito yung kamay ko, gumagano'ng gano'n. So, uh, so that was priceless. And because of that training, I was able to be a producer. Of three shows at the same time, ako rin na lumalabas kay ni Pilipe. So, um, kala ko madali, hindi pala. Nakakapagod lang. Pero the job is actually manageable. And um, now, uh, when Bright Light decided to downsize, I said, okay, who's gonna be my producer now? I can, of course, use my money. But I think it's more secure if I have a partner. Besides, where am I going to air? Right? So, uh, one time there was a wake, and all of us were there. Si Vice nandon, nandun si Tita Cory, nandun yung mga taga ABS. So hi, hi, hi. I've always maintained my good relationships with Pasko birthday. Anjo pa yung mga regalo ko sa mga boss ko dati. Nung pandemic ay nila lahat lumabas, eh ako pahara-hara. Bigo oh, na mi-miss na ba ang pagkain mula sa Taste of LA? Andito ako ngayon, papadal ako oh, lahat ng order. Sabi ni Cory, eto gusto ko, eto gusto ko. So pinadala ko sa kanilang lahat. Uh, so I maintain my relationship with them. Um, 
So when they downsize, nakita kita kami sa sabi sabi ko kay Vice Vice, o kung mas taka na, eh to aggressive kami sa paggawa ng content sa ABS. So kung pa tibak ako magpitch. Oh, ano man, ba't di ka mag-bitch? Ayos, Tita Corio, nahihiya ako eh. Sabi ko ganyan. Ma'am, sino ba isang vice ganda? Si vice ganda. Oo. Oh, oh. hmm. Nahihiya ako, sabi ko ngayon. Ba't ka nahihiya? Sabi ko, alam mo naman, empleyado lang naman ako dati. Ngayon, bigla akong mag-bitch ng ganyan. Ay, nako, akong bahala kakausapin ko si Tita Corio. Man, a few months later, who knew that Bright Light would suddenly say, Okay, we're downsizing. And la la la. Bright Light naman gave me time to prepare. And look for a producer. And out of the blue, uh, Vice texted me, Corina called me up. I was just with Tita Cory and Carlo. So when we talk, sabi niya, Bru, pumunta ka na doon, hinihintay ka na. Mag-pitch ka na sa kanila. And because of that tip, I made an appointment and I was so overwhelmed with that one meeting with Carlo and Cory and said, sabi nila, Ano ka ba? Dito ka na sa amin. Welcome back home, Corina. Ganon lang. Ganon, ganon kabilis. Uh, this was about a month before we started airing last month. I actually started airing already under ABS before the signing because we had to wait for Carlo to come back from Amer from Paris, I think, or America. So was it a difficult decision for you na isip ka pa talaga ng malalim for you before accepting no. it? No, no, no. Ah, accepting? Mm -hmm. No. Well, nahihiya ako kasi mga magulang ko yan. Eh. How do you mm -hmm. negotiate, right? Mm -hmm. So, kaya nga I asked girly, girly, ko na yan. I don't like to talk about mm -hmm. money or whatever. So, when we were talking, uh, they were saying, sabi ko, Carlo, do you remember? You advised me to own my show. Oh, did I do that? Sabi ko, why do you regret it? <laughs> sabi niya, no, 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 no. You know what it tells me, Corina? Let's be co-producers. So, of course, I have less exposure if I don't co-produce. But it also gives me an edge about content. So that I can also lean in on content. May say din ako sa laman ng programa ko. Yun. Um, so, the arrangement is that Everything half down the line. Ganon. Everything half down the line. Sales, investment, sales. Ganon. Transparency. It, they were so easy. They were so easy. And, um, sila pang ang nagsabi, oh, Corina, would you like to, to give suggestions about your press, press release? Ha? Huh? May ganun pa ba? Bakit? Kayo lang gumawa. Hindi kasi baka yung wordings mo, may ganun sila. They're very, they're very differential and um, even the press con, Corina, we want you to do a signing. And then, sabi ko, ha? Signing? Tita Cory, alam mo ba, na tatlong pong taon ako dyan sa inyo? Never ako nagkaroon ng signing. Never, I never, I never required it. Anong signing? Wala na yan. Akin na. Napkin na lang. Whatever, right? Sa kotse, papadala yung kontrata sa bahay. Ganun na lang. I never really required it. Kasi parang feeling ko, ano, <laughs> ano ako dyan eh, organic, empleyado. Kasi from, from the very, isa ako sa unang-una dyan. Wala pa si Cory, wala pa si Freddy, wala pa si Charo. Iba pa mga boss namin noon. Our newsroom was then only four people. One long table, three typewriters, four chairs. Orokan pa. Ganito lang kaliit. Ito, ang newsroom. Apat lang kami nun. Becky Cabral, David Nye, Vic Lima, at ako. So parang, bakit ako magko-contract signing with Bulaklak and all, right? Parang, hindi, wala na yan. So now, pagpasok ko ngayon sa ABS-CBN, medyo... Natatawa ako na nakikiliti ng konti na parang, wow, ganito palang feeling. Sabi ko na, merong ganyang contract signing. Siyempre, hinilera ni lahat, ni lahat ng lumang tao para at home ako. Sabi ko, oh, kilala ko to, kilala ko to, kilala ko to. Ikaw, hindi kita kilala. Mukha ka pang fetus. Sabi ko ganyan. So, it was very, ano, it was very uh, heartwarming. Siyempre, iba na, no? Carlo, Mark, Di ba mga bata na mga... Pero syempre, of course, si Cory, hindi nagbabago itsura. Nandun pa rin siya. So that's our arrangement. Ano naman ang comment na doon sa... I mean, like, the current 
sabi nila, they, they really welcome you. Parang, <laughs> ang saya nila na your boss. Yeah, well, that scene naman with Karen is really urban legend. More than anything. <laughs> yun talaga gusto. Ha? Oo nga, grabe talaga yun. Alam mo naman ang ano, alam mo naman ang contact sport ng mga Pilipino, intriga. <laughs> diba? Yan ang ating contact, contact sport natin. Gusto nila yung nagsasabunutan, yung ganon. Parang, parang they all love a good mud wrestling between two women. Cut fight. Right? So don't give them the pleasure. Diba? And when, when ABS-CBN dissolved, we all went our own ways and there's none of that anymore. I mean, <clears throat> even if there was professional competition, as I said, I don't look at competition. So people watching are the ones making us compete, right? I have my own thing. I have my own thing and uh, I just do things differently. Ibang iba naman yung style ni Karen sa style ko eh. So, so when we did the, uh, the collab and the mega cover, people were like, whoa, 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 right? Tawa lang kami ng tawa. You should have been there during the shoot. Diba, no? Sayang. Mm -hmm. Most watched though, yun. Totoo According ba? to our ABS-CBN insider. Really? Parang two years din sila kasi daw. Yeah, especially the ABS-CBN yeah. fans, no? Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. Well, healthy competition is always good within, within a network. But much of that is now dissolved. Eh. I don't know if it will ever happen again na yung landscape natin ganyan. But uh, now, I, what is it? It's now between GTV and TV5. <laughs> right? Parang ganun ang binabantayan ng tao ngayon. But I'm friends with all of them. Oh, believe it or not, I pitched to GMA. I pitched to GTV. <clears throat> And they were willing to take me, but I have to produce it myself. And that's my only setback, aside from sa pakuhahanap ng oras. So imagine, if I were also in GMA or GTV. It's gonna trail place. Teka muna, sandali. Sandali. Pero interesting yun, mama, kung paglalabas kasi sa GTV. Mag-show kami ni Jessica, so oo, gano'n. Tumigil ka. So may offer nyo sa GMA? May offer nyo sa GMA? May offer nyo. I pitched. You know they're pitching. Because I have many in my portfolio. That were greenlit before, remember? And then shelved. Nagulat nga si Joey Abakan. And said, Corina, I thought you were gonna pitch for yourself. Kasi why not? So it's open. They're open to me. Why not? Kala ko, oh, why not? Oh. Kayo ni Jessica, sabi niya, I don't know naman if you can print that kasi that was uh, private. Baka mag, al alam mo na, di ba? Baka alborote mga tao doon. Huwag ka, baka nenega tayo. Oh, huwag na yun. Delete natin yung Jessica. Oh, okay, so delete natin yung Jessica. But yung I pitched to Joey and Joey was open. Yan, parang warming the heart naman. Joey's such a nice guy. Di ba? At saka, the seven people have always been my friend. Annette Gosson was my seatmate in the Mega Ball. Tawa kami ng tawa. Henry Gosson is very close to Mar. So, kaya nga, to competition to me was not, ano eh, I never really took it that seriously. Important lang, I outdo myself. I rate higher than my last one. Ganon, ganon yung style. Is kayo last ko lang ng question? Yung beauty tips ko mo for working moms.